What is up you guys? Welcome back to Hype Hunters. My name is John. I'm Caleb. And today we are going to be discussing how you can find sports cards and Pokemon cards at your local retail stores. Uh, to start it off, uh, there are two retail stores that we are going to be focusing on today, Walmart and Target. Walmart is stocked by a vendor, a vendor called MJ Holdings. Uh, they do all the third party stocking. Walmart employees don't do any stocking at the, at the stores. It's all done by a third party that comes in and does the stocking themselves. And then Excel does the exact same thing for target locations. So uh, to start it off, you really wanna learn the schedule that the vendor is on when they come to your store uh, in your local area. So the way that you can help to narrow down that time is by going there every single day and just taking pictures of the card section and then comparing it to the previous day. So then you can help narrow down what days they might have came and what days they obviously are not there. So for me and Caleb, we know that our vendors in our local area usually come on Thursdays and Fridays. So if there's not a restock on Thursday, we typically know that shipment is going to be coming in on Friday and it will be restocked on Friday. So our, pr our prime times are typically morning eight to 12, but I know that that can vary from uh, different areas throughout the country. So it just kind of narrows down uh, come down to what you guys uh, see when you are taking these pictures and just kind of putting in the legwork of finding out when the vendor comes. All right, so then another thing that's kind of important to do is you kind of want to, you know, when you're at the store, if there's an employee that's in the aisle or something, maybe just kind of ask them, you know, do you know when they're going to be putting out cards or do you know if the vendor's been here recently or anything like that? Sometimes the employees just straight up don't know anything, which is fair. But I've actually a couple times gotten some tips from employees that have been helpful and sometimes they'll just tell you to be honest. So, I mean, it never really hurts to ask guys, go ahead, ask them, you know, they'll sometimes tell you, you know, when the vendor comes or, so, you know, that's some helpful information that you can just get from Walmart or Target employees. In addition, you know, another thing that can kind of impact the vendor's schedule is, you know, if they get an early shipment or if there's a late shipment in that week, uh, the, like I said, you know, it's not really controlled by Walmart and Target. They're just kind of there to house the cards. They don't really have anything to do with the cards. So uh, that's the, kind of the thing that sucks is you never really know when they're going to be there. So like, I, like John said, you know, you got to kind of try to find that schedule. Once you kind of do the thing where you go every day for a week, you know, you start to find that schedule. And hopefully if you find it's on a Wednesday or something that you go back then the next week and hey, it's also on a Wednesday. So you know, you figure out it's on a Wednesday then, then next step is to start narrowing down the time. And, you know, it's kind of a process. I mean, it changes, yep. it's not easy. It's never like a guarantee or anything like that, but it's all you can really do is just kind of, you know, take some notes with like the pictures and stuff like John said. So that's a yeah. great tip. And, and if then, you narrow down, like it's gonna be on Wednesday every single week, and then all of a sudden it's not on Wednesday, Odds are that that's a late shipment and it's going to be on Thursday. So right. I would just do the same thing on Thursday. Though. Right. Yeah. So we know it's tough out there, though, guys. I mean, we look plenty of hours each yeah. Thursday and Friday. You know, we have college classes and stuff. We're jamming in, you know, running to Walmarts for three hours and then coming back for class for a couple hours and stuff. So we know it's tough out there. It's not going to be easy. It takes some time, you know, especially, you know, this stuff is valuable. People are going to be also mm -hmm. looking, you know, and we're not the only ones. So a couple other things we wanted to mention, though. Uh, some stores now, like Targets, mainly, I've seen maybe one or two Walmarts, but they have limits now. Um, so what will happen is the vendor will still come in, put everything on the shelves, and then there will be a sign that says each person is only allowed one or two or three boxes or whatever it might be. And so that's a new thing that's kind of coming out, you know, the last year or so. I mean, it's whatever. It helps everyone get product. It kind of sucks because, you know, you can only get one, two things, but... If it makes it last on the shelves for a little bit longer, I guess it's better. So that's one thing that you'll see sometimes at Targets. And then at Walmart, one thing that we've run into out here is one location. They they know the stuff that's good, you know, NBA Hoops, Prism, you know, Champions Path ETBs, Hidden Fates ETBs, whatever. They know all that stuff that's good. They'll just take it. It'll never go on the shelves. It just goes right behind the service desk. And all you have to do actually with this location is you can just give them a call and just straight up ask, hey, do you guys have any sports Pokemon in? You know, be generous with them. And they'll just straight up tell you, you know, yes, we got the shipment in. No, we haven't got it in yet. So then once they have it in, you can go to the store, uh, just go straight to the customer service desk at this location and they'll have it behind the counter and you can just get one product per person. So same thing, it's limited, but it's another way, you know, 
people can actually get the product this way. So some people do like it. So that's uh, one other kind of like the a newer way that people or stores have been doing it. So kind of be on the lookout for that if you guys are seeing like nothing ever at your stores. Mm -hmm. So one thing to maybe look out for. But that about wraps it up, you know. Uh, it's crazy out there though, guys. Sometimes, you know, the stores look like this when you walk in. And then, you know, sometimes you walk in at just the right time and they'll look like this. So, yeah. So just keep grinding, guys. And, you know, you'll never know what you'll find out there. Like I said, when I found uh, mosaic hangers this year, I found 14 of them. And it was, you know, three or four or five months actually after mosaic was released. So you just never know. <laughs> so it's a, it's a fun game. Yeah. So well, there's some good finds out there. So put that put in the work and you can you can get some good cards so hopefully you guys did enjoy this information hopefully you learned something that can help you out uh and getting some cards but uh this has been hype hunters if you did like and subscribe